everybody, Brian Keeler here. I'm here with uh, Art Godin here at the Electric Wilberland studio. We just uh, finished our uh, marathon recording session here in, uh, in the middle of February, or the end of February. And um, Art is our, one of our other guitarists, and uh, um, Art originally hails from Canada, right? Isn't that? That's where my ancestry uh -huh. is. In um, Halifax or? No, uh, in Quebec. 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 French Canadian. Yeah. But you grew up in Florida, is that right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And then I came up to Ithaca to go to Cornell and never left, really. Left for a few years here and there, but for the most part, made Ithaca my home. <clears throat> um, we're going to talk about guitars a little bit. We both have the, the same kind of guitars uh, uh, called Altamira, and they're designed by a, a guy that lives in San Diego. His name is Alan Cola, French guy, but he lives in San Diego. And actually, Art's just arrived a couple of days ago. They're beautiful guitars, and we both bought them sight unseen, uh, meaning they came in the mail and we hadn't played them before, and both of us pleasantly surprised. So. Yeah, it took me a while to realize the properties of gypsy jazz guitars really are distinct from other types. They have less bracing, and so they are louder. Gypsy guitars um, originated in Europe, and the convention is to put a fret marker on the tenth fret. Um, but that is terribly confusing to someone who's been playing guitar most of their life. I obliterated one of the dots here, and put another one where it would be if this were an American-made guitar. I played it today for quite a while um, and it performed very nicely. All of my life I played guitar finger-picking style, never used a pick at all. It just felt foreign in my hands. And the first thing I needed to do is was to reconcile myself to having not only to use a pick, but to use a really big, thick pick that is unique to gypsy guitarists to produce the volume of sound that they uh, favor. You and uh, Joanna have another, or you had a duo, and I saw you do your uh, CD release party at the Hangar Theater, and Art and Joanna collaborated and did all the uh, writing, isn't that correct? Yeah, well, uh -huh. that, that was in pretty much an all original concert, but it was curious, we were beginning to get a little bit tired of the songs that we were playing at various cafes and stuff, and then um, we were offered uh, to be sponsored at the Kitchen Theater by kind of a patron um, who liked our music, and there was just something about the sound of the Gypsy Swing tunes of Django Reinhardt and the whole scene when we went to um, convention called Django in June that happens every summer uh, and met some of the people there and learned more about the styles and the technique of playing that kind of jazz. Generally the tempos are extremely fast so they're not always that well matched for, for dancing. But that's one of the things uh, that we have kind of specialized in I guess is playing uh, gypsy jazz for, for dancers. Joanna and, and I have a lot of common history. We um, were in mostly vocal groups in the past. We were once, uh, I think the longest running Ithaca band we were part of was, uh, began as a four piece uh, band with guitar, with some guitar and some keyboard, but quickly became an a cappella band. It was called the B-Side, and uh, besides Joanna and me, uh, Dave Davies and Molly McMillan, both uh, very well-known musicians in the Ithaca area. We have been in a couple of other bands that date back so far that no one would remember. Um, did Joanna tell you about Shuffle Tones? Probably not. I don't think I and then there was name. Shiny Capine. That was our first band in Ithaca. <laughs> Shiny Capine, according to the person who chose this, or proposed this name, was a little guy inside the refrigerator that turns the light on when you open the door. Uh, Art didn't sing any on our album, but he has a really wonderful uh, uh, vocal, uh, uh, really great voice. And uh, when we do gigs, they do uh, great versions of swing songs. Uh, when we do, uh, over the Rainbow is a waltz, and Art does an incredibly beautiful job doing harmony with his wife Joanna, and we do a couple of French songs too, Ja Tendre, and there might be a couple other ones. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to revive my voice, you know, it's kind of uh, weakening as, as the years pass, but we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> 
I really had a great time today uh, working among professionals. It's been great to have you uh, participate, and thanks so much, uh, Art. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Dreaming of a man.